what are some of the best ways to prepare for for the visa interview? And I know your firm extensively helps applicants, and I can't say that about every uh, immigration law firm. What are some best ways to prepare for that interview? I think know your audience is, as we touched upon, you know, the consulates and what they're doing, but know your record. Some consulates, or most, I should say, you may just have 15 to 20 minutes at a window counter with a consular officer. So you want to be organized. You want to be able to specifically pull out your financial documents, know exactly what they're going to be looking for for your category. You know, some people don't put much stock into the consular web pages, but they have become very detailed, very helpful. And uh, so take a look with your, your representative and just be ready and organized to answer what could be a five to 20 minute interview and, and know your facts. And with that, you know, as John said, we have a lot of problem cases. So don't don't hide from the issues because that's going to be the focus of, of your interview. If there was any type of negative decision in the past or anything that has been alleged by the consulate or even USCIS, just be able to clearly explain what happened and, and have your, your facts and your evidence ready. Yeah, I'll simply add to that, obviously, in, in specifically in the, you know, reading the tea leaves, because when the consulate denies you, then they just, especially on 214B, you get 214B, they don't tell you why. And in the E context, as you know, Patrick, obviously, is was the investment substantial? Was it not marginal? Do you really have the management and et cetera? So if you get a 214B denial, it wasn't denied under any of those substantive requirements, theoretically. But I, it goes back to what you just Jesse just said and harped in, which is, you got to know if you're doing an E2, you got to know your business plan. You got to know what you're selling, what products or services, what your level employees, because you got a couple of minutes. And if the officer says, how many employees do you have? And you're like, ah, oh, you really got to know your business plan. And, and reading the tea leaves when we were preparing that client, a lot of these, oh, don't worry, but I'll be ready for the interview. I mean, and, and, and I would tell him, listen, if, if the worst moment you have is in front of us, we did our job. The reason why we're prepping, and I'm asking these questions, not to antagonize you and to, you know, take you away from your surfing tonight, because the guy's a surfer. But, but again, and it, and you know, I said to him, listen, if you do this, like, and and who knows what happened at the consulate, but, but you really preparation is key, knowing what's in your visa application, knowing about. And the other thing I would say is, no matter how much you prep people, it doesn't matter how much you prep people. There's things they don't tell you, and what the consulate is doing now especially for some of these NIVs and some of these employment visas is they're going back many years when people were applying for other visas, like tourist visas. And they're looking at inconsistencies. Hold on. In the L in 2019, you said you were a CEO for a company from 2012 to 2017, but on the B2 for 2015, they said you were a photographer. And, you know, it doesn't serve you to lie to us or lie because the consulate may find out about it. You know, sometimes there are explanations, sometimes there aren't. But being aware that you did apply for other visas in the past and consistency, of course, they're going to look at those type of things. And as we talked about 214B before, obviously, as John mentioned, that's there's no appeal for that. And you don't really necessarily know why, you know, which aspect of your life was deemed to, to show immigrant intent. But for some other bases of denial, there is a mechanism to go to the legal department of, of the Department of State if it's a legal basis that you could argue. The problem that we see in some cases, particularly L's for startups, is you only have a year uh, for your new business. And so if you didn't have the proper documents or, or you gave some type of information that led the officer to incorrectly deny the visa, then you, even if you had the petition approved, you could appeal, but it could be months and you're left with a few months left.